beautiful people of the Philippines and around the world. This is Yuki, your Taiwan travel baby. So to start this vlog, there are actually a lot of people asking me the same question. So I decided to make this vlog for future use. So the question a lot of people were asking me is that how can we study in Taiwan? So there are actually two ways that you can study here in Taiwan. First, of course, is you have to pay for yourself which I doubt that uh, you want to do it. And the second is you have to apply for a scholarship. So generally, there are two kinds of scholarship that you can apply for. One is the government scholarship, which is the ICDF, the MOE, the MOST, and, and others. But I will be discussing later the most common, which is the MOE. And the second is the university scholarship that I will also be tackling in this video. So let's start with the MOE scholarship. So the most important points you have to learn are number one, depending on which school you applied for, they usually subsidize a maximum of 40,000 NTD for your tuition fee. So if your tuition fee exceeds uh, that amount, you need to shoulder the rest. However, there are schools that offer to shoulder the remaining costs. So you just have to check the website of TECO to see which schools are this. So for your convenience, I will be sharing the link in the description box below. So and just check it out and the second important point is that the MOE scholarship provides a monthly stipend equivalent to 20,000 pesos. 20,000 pesos. And that amount is already um, a good amount to live a comfortable life here in Kaohsiung. Trust me. And But I will be sharing later maybe in my next vlog um, the living in expenses here in Taiwan so you can be um, sure that the 20,000 is are really um, a good amount already so the third is that it is also important to know that they are only supporting those courses that are taught in English so again see the link below uh, to check the courses available so i'm sharing ev almost everything here so it will make uh, you convenient more convenient but if in case your course of choice is not found in the list um, on the website that i shared in the description box you can still have the moe scholarship given that you will pass the chinese level 3 exam at the end of your second year which is um for me it's difficult honestly yeah learning chinese is difficult so yeah it's really important that that you take a course that is um, offered in english and lastly the fourth and the last and it's the most important you have to be uh, successfully admitted to the school for the moe to offer you a scholarship but note that you need to simultaneously apply for the school admission and for the MOE scholarship because usually they have the same um, dates of application. So for the university scholarship, there are actually different kinds but what I will be sharing you today is the scholarship offered by my university, the National Sun Yat-sen University. So compared to the MOE scholarship, the university scholarship only offers you a free tuition fee, which is equivalent to around fifty to sixty thousand NTD per semester for 
the master's students. But for PhD students, they give a very generous amount. So aside from your waived uh, tuition fee, they also provide a waived dorm fee and a monthly allowance of 15,000 NTT, which is already a good amount. Now, if you are an incoming master's student, you might probably ask, what about my dorm, my living expenses? Where am I going to get those? So there are several options to choose from, like uh, the laboratory allowance, research assistantships, teaching assistantships, English Corner, and you can also consider applying for the straight PhD program. So this is the reason why uh, you need to contact an advisor prior uh, coming so that you can secure your monthly allowance because usually um, students, international students here are given a monthly stipend by their lab laboratories. So, however, our university policy says that international master students can only receive a ma maximum of 10,000 NPA from their laboratory. But there are creative ways to earn more like uh, the English Corner and some others that your advisor can help you with. But for the PhD students, so aside from the school giving you a uh, monthly stipend of 15,000 NTD, your laboratory will also give you a generous amount. So it actually depends um, of the, labor the laboratory that uh, you are in. So yeah, I think that's it for today. And I hope this information I shared in this vlog find you helpful. And if you still have more questions, you can drop a comment below and I will try to answer all of those. So see you guys on my next vlog and always remember that you are deeply loved. So just keep on smiling. Stay safe everyone. Bye bye. If you want to be rich, this path is not for you. Ha ha ha.